What's going on guys, Ryle Pop Golden here, and anybody who knows me knows I care very much about being humble. No matter what I'm doing, if I'm playing a new game or trying to be the best at something, I try very hard to just keep my head down, be quiet, and do the best that I can. I guess except with rapping, because I kind of bring some some flair and some attitude into that, because I feel like you have to, but if I make more music, um, I feel like I'm not going to do that as much. I kind of want to get away from that. But, playing a lot of different games and being around a lot of people that like doing a lot of this, sometimes you gotta keep something in your back pocket for your friends to kind of quiet them down a little bit. So, this is how to talk smack in Pokemon Go Battle League. Jumping right into the first game. Here we go, Ryle Pop Golden. Chinju. Oh, error finding match. Thanks, Niantic. You're not safe from the smack talk either, don't worry. But at least that didn't happen in the game as it normally does, and then we lose because of it. So here we go. Oh, shiny Skarmory got a tough guy right off the bat. That don't matter, and we lost lead. That don't matter. We switch into Lantern. Here we go. Let me see a Meganium or something. Tropius? Tropius. That's the response to a Lantern, which is fine. There you go. Still taking a good 40% off that uh, that Thunderbolt. So he's trying to just farm me down. He thinks he's going to be able to farm me down and then uh, have one or two charge moves up. He's doing a ton of damage. That's fine. But he's got to protect it. So we still do enough damage with Lantern. We go into Altaria. If it's Air Slash now, this charge move. If it's Leaf Blade, whatever it is, Altaria is good for him. There's a Leaf Blade. That does nothing. So we're just grinding them down. Another attack coming. Altari is good. Altari is good right here. Another Leaf Blade. That's literally nothing. So we'll even take one more if we have to. But we don't have to. He's pretty weak. So we take care of him. Here we go. That Skarm comes back out. But you know what? Altaria is hungry. Altaria can eat that up. Do some good damage. About 20-25 right there. And it looks like they're going to come back with a Sky Attack. But I think Altaria is... Uh, actually going to do okay against this Pokemon, so I'm going to Sky Attack and whittle it down, maybe try to get it to use that other shield, but it's pro they're probably not going to, but Altaria is doing very good against the Skarmory, so almost grinds it down, and now he changes out into his Altaria, I thought he could have taken me out with a Sky Attack, but they waste their last shield right there, so now we just have the Lone Shift Tree versus a strong Altaria. The shift tree's the boy. Here's a, a foul play. Does about 50%. We save that shield for this sky attack. If it's a dragon pulse, it doesn't matter. We're blocking whatever. That thing's Altaria. I love Altaria, but it does take a while to charge up. So here I'm farming. I'm farming. Gonna get this foul play off and make sure that the second that Skarmory comes in, it's Coyens. So we knocked that out. We got that leaf blade all set up just in case. He had something set up for us, but that doesn't matter. A quick attack probably would have... One or two would have taken it out, but just in case it had something charged up. That's a dub. That's a quick dub. Wild Pop Golden. Tie a new game two. Haunter. We eat that right up. We eat that right up. They got to switch instantly into a Metacham. We'll go right into Altaria here. And here we go. Like, we aren't going to read this right now. Come on, you know it's not a nice punch. It's a power-up punch. We eat that all day. That's what Metacham players do. That's how they attack. They always get that power-up punch off first, and then they try to bait you into using the shield on that one. Then they hit you with the times four ice punch. That's too easy, though. Altaria eats this thing up. Even though we lose against that, they need to use a shield right there. Sky attack would one-shot that thing super easily. So we're farming, we're farming. I value the Altaria right now. I know we have Shifter against Haunter. I want to keep this um, this switch lead. And uh, before I can figure out how I want to play that, he switches into a Whiskash. And that's good money for us because we have something that takes care of that too. That Shiftry. So here's a Leaf Blade. That thing's going to get one shotted. They got to block it. But Shiftry is the boy. It charges up super quickly. So. I don't know if you didn't want to use Mud Bomb or whatever ground attack that thing does, or if you wanted to try to get the Blizzard, which was just never going to happen. But he luckily, with that Metacham, gets to an attack before we can get to another Leaf Blade. He power punches, leaves up with a little, leaves us with a little bit before we could finish it off. He quick attacks us once, and here comes Altaria, and we're going to see this Haunter. And, uh, ooh, right as we quick, quick the, quick the, click the Sky Attack, 
he gets that shadow punch. So lucky. So lucky. But you know what? We got a goon right here in Lantern. And you can do whatever you want. Shadow punch, shadow ball, sludge bomb right here. We're going to take that because Lantern has a big booty for stuff like that. And then we hit him with the Thunderbolt. And that's that's a dub. It's a quick 2 all. Yuta Naka Hararan. About to be 3 0. I just said it's 2 0. About to be 3 0. They're staying in. They're staying in. Look at this. This is madness. They're staying in. Leaf Blade, that'll one shot. Gotta block that. Gotta block that. Here we go. They're still staying in. They're still staying in. And now they're gonna try to hit us with what? With what? A mud bomb. Oh my goodness. Oh, but he had a second one charged up. <laughs> my fault. My fault. I didn't know he had a second one, so that's... I guess, yeah, we did something wrong there. Oh, the switch. Got me with the switch right into that good meganium that only knows uh, Frenzy Plant. That's about a 25% lower damage against this Altaria. So, like nothing. Yeah, I mean, maybe we use the shield. I don't know. I don't know. Never that. Meganium. Burst Altaria. That's a wrap. That's too easy. So, we offer this guy attack here. Just take it out. Just so we don't take too many Frenzy Plants. They're down a shield. I'm tapping away. Here he comes. Oh, we got another tough guy. A golden Azumarill over here. We're going to chunk him down a little bit with a sky attack. I'm going to allow Taria get knocked out right here because I know we got some goons in the back. He has a Whiskash and a Zoomerill. And we have a Shift Tree. And that's, uh, that's really this game. This is a dub. A spoiler alert. This is a dub. There goes the last shield. And now we got two shields. We might as well use one. We probably don't have to. Because even if it were a player off, it wouldn't do that much damage. Here comes the Whiskash. Here comes the Goon. The Goon. The one shot. Like nothing. We got another Leaf Blade charged up. That's a dub. That's a dub. That's 3-0. That's light work. That's easy. Kobata. Ryle. Oh, here we go. The mirror match. Maybe maybe someone will be able to outplay me with the shift tree. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Gotta get in their head a little bit. Can you really outplay me? We're starting with the same thing, Leaf Blade first. All right, that does almost 50% damage. That's pretty good. I guess I'll hit you back with that. I'm kind of just seeing how you're going to play if you're going to hit me as fast as you can. All right, that's fine. Somehow you're getting it off before I am. Okay, okay, I'll block one. I'll block one. I want to do the same thing to you. We're going to play this game now. Either we're wasting all of our shields and we're going relying on our back Pokemon, which I'm completely okay with, but I'm going to switch right here into this Altaria. And that's his answer for Altaria. Now, I switched. I could have lost the game. He goes Bastiodon. He goes Azumarill. He goes a couple different things I'm losing right there. But, just the Oxys. I don't want to take the Rock Slide. So, I'm going to block this one as well. And I'm just going to chip away at him. I'm going to get him to use his last shield right here. If he doesn't want to, then that's fine. Altaria will take this nicely. I have a feeling he's going to use it. He does. So, we use it. And he had an attack on deck. So here's the Rock Slide. Rock Slide, Thunderbolt. They were all do a lot. But Altaria still, just look at that. Gonna grind it down. Altaria is such a good Pokemon. Here comes the Shift Tree. And while we're trying to whittle it down, it's actually gonna waste a Leaf Blade on us. So I'm gonna go Lantern right here. I didn't think he had another charge move up. This is a humbling play because I'm gonna have to eat this Leaf Blade. But that doesn't even matter because Lantern don't care. Even if we take 65-70% right there, that doesn't matter. And here comes another tough guy, another golden Azumarill. Something that we have plenty of ammo for between a Lantern. And we don't want to let him get to that, uh, whatever. Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, play rough. We got this goon in the back. That's a quick dub. That's a quick four. Nothing for the boy. Here we go, J Pakistan. Is that really his last name? Here we go. Easy money. Haunter right off the rip again. Game 5. We're already seeing what that encounter is. And look at this. 
I guess I go for the foul play. I could have went for a leaf blade, but I'm going right for the kill, right off the rip. Force that block. And he, I can't believe he's staying in. That thing is, even though we're frail, we're good against uh, a ghost move. Shadow Ball is just pretty strong. So they go Altaria, we go Altaria. We block that because a ghost would uh, definitely do some damage to us. Just because Shifty's kind of frail. But we take that Dragon Pulse. We take that entire Dragon Pulse right to the face. I thought it was a Sky Attack. We messed up. You know what? Don't even matter. Now we're going to take whatever this is, Dragon Pulse, Sky Attack, we take it, Lantern don't care, Sky Attack, good misplay, there you go, I'll take 20%, here we go, Thunderbolt, this is going to do a nice chunk of damage to him, takes it right out, and now what are we going to see again, this Haunter's coming right back, am I let, nope, I don't let Lantern get knocked out here, I value it too much, there's the Shadow Punch, I'm going to come right in, I'm going to grind him down, he's going to switch out before I could even... Uh, finish that Haunter off. So, switches right into everyone's favorite Azumarill. There's 50%. We got another one lined up for He hasn't even begun using his quick moves yet. He's not even close to getting a move off. So, he has to use that last shield. We have another one charged up already. You know why? Because my man's a goon. That's why. That takes it right out. Here comes this Haunter. That's going to get one shot with a quick move. That's five dubs. That's a 5 0. Let's see what we got. Sometimes I go 0 and 5. This is a rare occasion. Get that Stardust, though. Get that Stardust, though. Here we go. Landorus. This is actually 2028. If we see what we're working with here, I got one Ultra Raz, six Great Balls, and 12 Ultra Balls to my name. This is the best Landorus I've ever had. So here we go. Quarterbacking it over here, trying to get a good one right off the rip, and he breaks out. Let's try again. All right. I'll use the Golden Raz. That's fine. I care about this one. It's like a 94%er. I care about this one. We gotta wait for the right time, though. He's to the right. I don't like those off-center throws. I'll do if I gotta do it. I don't want to, but I will if I have to. It doesn't look like he's moving anytime soon, so we're patient. We're patient. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. There you go. Come back to the middle. There you go. That's cash. Oh, a little short. Let's try to get that back real quick, as we do with the nice, excellent throw. This should be cash. He don't care. He's like, talk your smack pop right out of that silver pineapple terrible throw maybe we get lucky probably not gonna get lucky but he pops out that's two all right silver pineapple again get that great throw before he uh before he gets out of harm's way and uh this lander is uh he must have known i was gonna make a video talking smack because he gave me the hardest time trying to catch him if i even catch him who knows who knows? I'm running out of balls over here. Every throw is important. Every throw is super important. So we're just, we're spinning. Hit that dime right on him. Excellent throw. He shouldn't be breaking out of this. Oh, but he does. Spoiler. Now he's going, oh, he's going left. He's going right. Funniest lullaby music in the background. Here we go. Right in the middle. We'll take a great throw. He's breaking out of excellence. We'll take whatever we can get. We take them. Let's check them. Ooh. He's good. He's pretty good. That's definitely the best landers I have. And, uh... Yeah. Alright. As I'm making this video and talking over all these battles, some of it is cringy even to me because I don't like talking smack. But, sometimes you gotta know how to be a little nasty. For whatever occasion. For your friends, we'll say. If they're jokingly giving you a hard time, that's when I would do it. The rest of the time, bigger man, bigger woman, boop, walk away, that's it. This video is strictly for fun, and sometimes when I'm playing games, I enjoy talking smack a little bit. All in good fun, so never do it to be mean to anyone. That's not nice. All we care about is being nice and being truthful and honest, but sometimes... It's fun. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next one. In the next one. We'll see you next one.